Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and in today's video, we are on video number two of a multi-part video series in which we are taking a look at potential viable alternatives to the Mazda MX-5, Miata, and Miata RF. So in the past, I did a video in which I identified a handful of cars in the same price point, capping it at 40,000 USD or less, and that also met some other criteria. If you haven't taken a look at that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at three convertibles currently sold at under 70,000 USD that may be considered an upgrade to the Mazda MX-5 Miata and Miata RF. So which three cars do we have on the list? We have the Audi TT Roadster, the BMW Z4 Roadster, and the Porsche 718 Boxster. For each of these cars, we're going to compare and contrast the pricing. We're gonna take a look at the engine specs. We're going to dive into performance. We are going to then take a look at the EPA mileage rating. We're also going to look at the dimensions, both external and internal, including cargo space and weight. Third party reviews, see what the experts say. And then I will close off by providing my own commentary, my thoughts. And of course, throughout this, I'd love to hear from each one of you, so if you have any thoughts, comments, good, bad, whatever it might be, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. So with that said, let's jump into pricing. Taking a look at these three cars, starting with the Audi TT Roadster. The Audi is offered in one trim level and based on the options, ranges from 56,000 US dollars to 58,000. The BMW Z4 Roadster, is offered in two trim levels with two engine choices. Its price ranges from 50,895 US dollars to 73,170 dollars. The Porsche 718 is offered in one trim level and starts off at 66,950. And as you can see here, I did not provide a upper limit because it is crazy how many options and accessories you can add to your Porsche. And it can wildly get out of control, easily doubling the price. So what do you get as far as engine specs? Starting off with the Audi TT, you'll stay with a two liter four cylinder, but we'll add a turbocharger, bumping the horsepower to 228 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. Moving to the BMW Z4 Roadster, two engine options, starting with a two liter four-cylinder turbo, comes in at 255 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque. The larger increasing to a three liter six-cylinder turbo with a whopping 382 horsepower and 368 foot-pounds of torque. And then we have the Porsche 718 Boxster with its two liter four cylinder Boxster turbo engine with 300 horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque. So with these upgrades in engines and increases in horsepower and torque, what is the resulting performance specs? Taking a look at the Audi TT Roadster, Unfortunately, we don't have the performance specs from Car and Driver. We do have what is identified on the Audi website with a zero to 60 time of 5.5 seconds. The BMW Z4 Roadster it has a zero to 60 time of 5.1 second for the four cylinder and a 3.8 second sprint to zero to 60 from the three liter six cylinder turbo. So that is a very fast number, the 3.8. Definitely an upgrade 
in acceleration from the Mazda MX-5. Quarter mile times of 13.8 seconds at 102 and 12.3 seconds at 116. Skid pad for both of these cars is a super impressive 1G and 1.02 Gs. Braking is a very, very good 146 feet and 148 feet. Jumping to the Porsche 718 Boxster, this is with the manual transmission. It does 0 to 16 4.3 seconds. So very quick as well. Not as quick as the Z4, but 4.3 seconds is pretty damn fast. And remember, this is with the manual as compared to the Z4 Roadster only comes with the automatic. Quarter mile time of 12.6 seconds at 113. A skid pad that exceeds the Z4 Roadster at 1.04 Gs and a braking distance of 144 feet. The EPA gas mileage for the Mazda MX-5 Miata comes in at 26 city and 34 highway. Very impressive. The Audi TT close at 23 city, 30 highway in a combined total of 26. Still not as frugal as the Miata. However, the two liter four cylinder turbo Z4 comes in a little closer just one mile per gallon less at 25 city and two less for highway coming in at 32 highway. Jumping up to the larger three liter does come at a loss of mileage with a city rating of 22 and a highway rating of 30. And then lastly, we have the Porsche 718 Boxer. These ratings are for the six speed manual and rear wheel drive and are only estimates. The estimates come in at a city rating of 21, highway rating of 27, and a combined rating of 24. Now we're taking a look at the dimensions. We have up here the exterior, the length, width, and height of the Miata in comparison to our three cars. We also have the headroom, legroom, shoulder room, and hip room. Hip room is not provided by Audi, BMW, or Porsche for these three vehicles. The weight, I think, is a key point to consider, especially when you're looking for a fun roadster car that is engaging to drive. Less weight, the better. For Mazda, the MX-5 Miata comes in at 2,341 pounds for the soft top and 2,452 pounds for the RF. That is a lightweight and quite frankly unheard of in it with today's new cars. The next closest is the Porsche 718 Boxer at just a little over 3,000 pounds and that's not bad either. That is, uh, that is certainly nowhere close to the Mazda MX-5 Miata, but in comparison to most modern day uh, sports cars, that's pretty light. And then we have the Audi TT at about 3,400 pounds and the BMW Z4 Roadster at 3,500 pounds. I want to touch on the cargo volume. One thing that the Mazda MX-5 Miata is truly lacking is cargo space. The Porsches in the a similar boat, but at least it does offer a front trunk or frunk as well as a trunk. This is a mid-engine sports car, so it does have some cargo capacity behind the engine in the back. Combined, yes, we're looking at just under 10 cubic feet. So if you're looking to go on a weekend trip, that Audi TT, you're gonna have to think twice about what you're packing because it only has 7.5 cubic feet. And I guess in comparison, the BMW Z4 Roadster does offer a whopping 10 cubic feet of trunk space. Let's jump into what some of the third party reviewers have to say about these three cars. So what are my thoughts? So are they truly an upgrade to the Mazda MX-5 Miata? I'm gonna say right off the bat, I would probably discount the Audi TT Roadster. It's a heavy vehicle. Because it's so heavy, 
the engagement in driving experience would most likely be lacking. Having owned a Porsche Boxster, I can say that it is an excellent car. It is a phenomenal car. The performance is great and it has only improved. Can you sling it about? Absolutely. Can you have truly have fun with it? Sure. Um, I pause a little bit because its limits are so high that trying to find those limits uh, on the streets, on public roads, quite frankly, would be dangerous. I will say that the Mazda MX-5 is a little bit more engaging because its limits are lower and because it is so tossable, you can find them easier. That when you are doing, when you think you're doing 50 in the Boxer, you're probably doing 100. And when you think you're doing 50 in the Mazda MX-5 Miata, you're probably doing 30. So for all intents and purposes, if you're looking for a fun street car, keep that in mind. I have not driven a current BMW Z4, but given the price points, the engine size, what the reviews have to say, I do think it's a worthwhile car to consider if you're looking to upgrade. But tell me what you think. Let me know your thoughts on these three cars. Do you even think that there are cars out there that truly are an equivalent or an upgrade to the Mazda MX-5 Miata at this price point? So with that said, I think we're done for today. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for joining and until next time.